Hey Yardners, it's Destry. Welcome back to my yard. Today is part two in a two-part series about transforming my front entry for the Christmas season. So if you haven't seen part one of this transformation, I'm gonna link that down below. I would encourage you to watch that as well. In that part of the video, I did everything by my front door and everything on the other side of this beautiful arbor here. Um, today, I'm gonna to be tackling sort of my front walkway and one of my terracotta pots and really getting rid of the fall things and introducing holiday color and holiday spirit into the front of my home. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got right now and what um, kind of my plan is and take you through at least what I think I'm gonna be doing today. So here is my entryway currently, and you can see I've got some pumpkins here. I've got some um, purple cabbage. And honestly, here in the Pacific Northwest, this is what happens, right? It doesn't last very long. It starts to mildew and mold because of so much moisture that we get. So I might be able to salvage a few of those cabbage and use them in my backyard, but probably not very many of them. The pumpkins gotta go. And then this grass is actually the grass that I pulled out of my other containers. I thought about planting it someplace in my landscape, but this is purple, I think this is a purple fountain grass and it will get huge and I really don't have a place for it. So I think I'm just gonna compost that as well. And then over here, I have this planter, which has um, sort of a harvest flag. I usually do a little flag here on the front and then um, some other plants. Now this is a perennial, so I'm gonna keep this, but I'm hoping I can dig it out of here. And then I did under, under plant it with some pansies that are purple and orange. I might go ahead and leave those or I might just pull them out of here and you know put something different down there. So let me show you uh, the plants I'm thinking about putting in that pot. Also, I need to rake the leaves from my Japanese maple and just basically get this area tidied up. The one thing I do like and excited to keep are my Annabelle, um, or not Annabelle, but the, uh, what are they called? Magic Ball um, Ibrovite. Now these are proven winners and I did plant them in the spring. They've probably almost doubled in size. They've gotten a lot bigger and I am glad that I put those there for some winter interest because um, right now there's not a lot of other things here that are perennials. Um, I do usually more annuals in this uh, bed here. But let me show you a couple of the plants I did get to put in that terracotta pot. So this is what's gonna go in that terracotta pot to really steal the show. This is a camellia, and camellias actually bloom in cold weather um, in the winter time. So you can see this one also has some buds on it, um, and it's got these beautiful white flowers with a yellow center. So I'm just so excited to have that burst of white. And then I have a couple more of these cyclamen down here just for a pop of red. So. These plants have been sitting here just waiting to be planted up, um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these going in that terracotta pot today. Okay, excuse my messy garage, but just a couple other things I have to work with today. I found this garland that's not really outdoor garland, but I never use it for anything, and either I'm gonna donate it or maybe use it for this project. And then I do have this one tree. You can see it; it's pretty crunched. It needs, it needs some fluffing. Um, it is strung with some lights and it does have a battery pack. And then I also have um, a couple things here. So I've got this snowman. He's kind of cool. So he goes on my porch light. So you put this on a porch light and then when your porch light goes on, he lights up. And then I do have another kind of ratty looking wreath, but it does have a battery pack with lights. Um, and those both have a timer. So that's kind of nice because um, they can just, you know, they just come on. So this one actually was a set of two and you can see it's in a little like gold pot. So I got those off Amazon a couple years ago and one of them broke. So I'm down to one. And then I wanted to show you these. So I got this set of three uh, galvanized containers from Amazon. I'm going to link these down below. The biggest one is quite a bit bigger and I'm going to be using that next to my hearth for uh, kindling for our fireplace but then I had these two little ones and so I thought well I could probably you know pop something in here and maybe use them in my front decor so I just had a few of these little kind of cheapy fake Christmas trees that I just had laying around 
a couple sprigs from last year that I had in my holiday bin, but I really like the galvanized metal containers and I think they would look really pretty with fresh plants as well, but I think I'm just gonna use them with faux plants. All right, so here it is. Um, it's Jesus is the reason for this season. So um, we are a, a Christian household. We do believe in Jesus. So I really wanted something in my flag that wasn't just, you know, Santa Claus or something. So I will link this in, um, in the description of this video as well. It was really inexpensive on Amazon. And I just wanted something um, out here in my little entry that, that kind of reflected, you know, the true meaning of the holiday season. So let's go ahead and get this place. <laughs> I guess I didn't really consider that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pull these pansies out and just put them someplace else in my yard, repurpose these, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut back this Creeping Jenny pretty hard. And then I'm gonna need to put some more potting mix. Actually, I might not be, I might not have to. Let's see how big, because this pot is really big that has this camellia in it. So I might be okay. So I'm kind of mess around with this and see. But I'm gonna grab some scissors or something and give this a bit of a haircut. Oh, there's one more pansy in here too. All right, just kind of a fresh start. And yeah, this potty mix is dry, which is so odd to me because everything else here is like wet. So interesting. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this one potted up. It's so pretty. I picked this one specifically because it has um, kind of a strong leader of a trunk and it had more of like a tree form. It's so pretty. So let me see if I can get this guy in here. I think I'm actually gonna have to take out a little bit more dirt, which I don't have another pot to do that. So I'll just try to lean it over here. Kind of running it against um time that it's the sun is like going down <laughs> it's after work and you know 
Just trying to get some planty stuff done. There we go. Oh, it's got healthy roots. Okay, so I want to place this. So my plan for this camellia is actually to, um, I'm going to pot this or plant it up in my landscape. So I'm going to leave it here for winter interest and then probably next spring I'll take it out and, you know, put it in my landscape and I'm really excited to have it as, you know, even a cut flower for winter time. So I think that's pretty good placement wise. Kind of towards the back. It's looking pretty good. I might still need to go grab some more soil. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some more fresh soil. So that's all right though. I'm gonna grab my clippers and I want to put my cyclamen in here. So I'm gonna grab uh, I'm gonna grab my clippers and some more soil to get this right. All right, I cut back the Creeping Jenny. I don't know if this is a better angle or not. I feel like my back was to the camera, that whole part. Ooh. Oh well. Um, so here's my cyclamen. I'm just gonna tuck that in here. Now I also have a bunch of holly um, leaves and berries that I clipped from a neighbor's tree. If you watched the first part of this video, you heard me talking about my sweet neighbor who let me uh, go after his holly bush with some clippers. <laughs> So I can definitely use those as filler as well. And I have some scented pine cones that I can um, use to top dress and kind of make this look a little bit more full. But this is the first pot that you see right as you're, you know, coming up the entryway of my home. So I just wanted it to look fresh. And oh, I just love the red and white, it's so pretty. All right, so here's all the Creeping Jenny I took out. Here's all the Halloween pansies. They gotta go. And I'm gonna go grab some soil and then I'm gonna pretty up the top part with some pine cones. And what I ended up with. Everything looks pretty cleaned up here. I did add, you know, some faux flowers to the top of my, um, my, my little, I keep on saying Annabelle hydrangea. They're not, they're magic ball arborvitae. Um, anyway, I think they look kind of cute, right? It kind of, I don't know. I guess I could like, I also thought I could like cut off the flowers individually and like tuck them down in to make it look more like they're blooming with red, but I don't know. I'm, I'm really short on time tonight, so I think that's gonna have to do for now. And then I did put my faux tree here. I have to go make sure it has batteries. I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, and then over here, I just used that little wreath um, that again has a battery pack. I've gotta find the battery pack, but I just kind of put it there with the two little tins. I thought they were cute with some faux greenery. I've got my new little flag and then the star of the show, the camellia. 
um, and I underdressed it with all the holly and I will tell you it smells so good with those scented pine cones when you walk up the walk and then I just had this little garden pick so I stuck that in there <laughs> but I love the red and the white and then I did put um, Santa up here just I have a hook there so I just or not Santa what is he he's a snowman I put him there so anyway I think that it really like completed the look again if you haven't seen the video where I do um, this area I'll just give you a little peek um, I did these four planters here um, and my garland up there and I'm still planning on making a wreath so I decided I'm gonna make a live wreath this year for my front door I'm not gonna purchase one I'm just gonna try to make one up myself and so, yeah, that video will be coming soon. But these are those blue spruce um, that I planted up. They're so pretty. So, and then I have lights on my topiaries and the big mini mouse bows. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, here's my arbor here with the jasmine. And I've got some white flowers going here, just kind of going with my color scheme. I've got my little tree and yeah, I think it looks really nice. This was a little shorter than, you know, shorter project than the first bit because I had four planters to do and here I just had the one. But I think it looks really great and I think it's gonna be a nice place to enter and, you know, welcome my guests. And now my husband's gotta get on the lighting. He is the lighting guy, I am not the lighting girl. So he's gotta get on all the lighting and get this place lit up for the holidays. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight's video. I hope that it gave you some inspiration to deck out the front of your um, entryway, whether it be big or small for the holiday season. And thanks so much for hanging out with me in my yard tonight. I actually have to go inside and get packed because my family and I are going on a big trip. So more on this to come, but it might involve Minnie and Mickey. And so stay tuned for some more videos um, in my holiday countdown series, showing you some beautiful decor at an undisclosed location. We're getting on an airplane tomorrow. So I'm super excited to share this trip with you guys. If you need me, I'll be hanging out in the yard. See you guys later, bye.